everybody. Thank you for joining me tonight. And I hope you are all doing well. Welcome back to another ASMR video. Over the years, I used to be making dream videos where I share you guys the weirdest dreams that I've had. I made a dream ASMR video where I had this dream where I was in a freaky and terrifying car ride. So in this video, I'll make you guys experience it yourself. I am going to make you imagine through my perspective where I'm going to make you experience this exact dream as if you're the one dreaming. So let's get started. So your dream starts. You happen to be a four to six, a four to six year old kid. Assume you are a little boy, preschool age. You are a little kid, a little kid, who is basically just finished kindergarten or started grade one, first grade. You happen to be inside a car, a red car, and it's kind of an old car. It's kind of an old car. So the car is red. Typical, typical five, five passenger vehicle. The material of the car seats is made out of polyester, if I can remember, or something, but not leather. That was just a note if get it out of the way. Recall, you are a four to six year old kid. And apparently, apparently, you still have a booster seat. A booster, booster seat. So, you happen to be very, very short. So, you happen to always love the back seat the back seat the back seat okay well it does not matter anyway since you have to sit at the very back and your parents would not let you sit at the front at your age from four to six years of age you see my laser pointer so you always loved the back seat until this very night okay so you are inside of your dream and it is nighttime at the back seat going on some random were road 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 trip road trip road trip okay I'm gonna click my mouse right now do you hear my mouse clicking okay it's for your tingles so, you do not know or remember the trip itself, where you're headed at, the motive. You don't even know what the motive of going on this trip on this first place. Because you're dreaming, you don't really know where you're headed. So, you're, apparently, it is a trip to nowhere. Okay. So at least it is not raining. It is a night time, very pleasant weather. It is not raining and it's pretty, pretty cool. And assume that it's good weather. Otherwise, I don't remember. You would not remember. So you are inside, you're at the back seat and you're moving, the car is moving down a long road an urban road or some sort you see a street light that passes you and as the light passes you okay you see 
that the car lights up. The car lights up. Orange light shines through your car. And as the light passes over you, in front of the car and to the side, you see the shadows of the car seats, the necklace or something, or the whatever that tree that they hang. You see the shadows of the car seats, the air fresheners. Oh, I caught it. And the shadows of your hands moving and the shadows of your face. And it goes like this. It moves like that. And the car goes dark as the light moves away. Okay, then another street light comes. The car lights up, then goes back dark. And as you're moving, every street light, you see those street lights pass left and right, each lighting up the car inside, and then this car goes back down. It repeats after every single street light till you pass as the car moves, okay? You happen to enjoy the nighttime ride. And some more tingles. I always love these bottles that give you these noises, so I always use them in my videos. So you're enjoying the car trip, the road trip, you see the view of the trees that go past, the street light cycle of the car lighting up and going back down, and the road in front of you zooming past and all the lanes that go, okay. So you happen to enjoy. So at one point, at one point, at one point, at one point. You pass, as you pass another street light, as you pass another street light, as usual, the car lights up, you see a shadow of yourself, and another shadow beside you, behind you, and you think to yourself, how could that be possible? There is no one else besides my parents that are in front of you. Your parents that are in front of you. You happen to wonder. There's only yourself in the back seat. And for sure, it's impossible to have anybody sitting behind you if you are already at the back seat. So like... You wonder why you saw that smaller shadow as it is impossible for this situation to happen. So you feel curious. You feel curious and you decide to take a glance behind you at the direction of where you saw the shadow. And Surprise, to your surprise. If you look behind you, as you look, you see an alien-like head pop up. It has rough textures on its skin, and it is the skin is pretty dark. As dark as like the birch from a tree, the birch wood or something, the bark of a tree. And it looks like an evil cookie with raw cracks on its face. And it has this massive V-shaped grin. Like this face is smiling heavily. It's like Spongebob, but an evil grin with a lot of teeth, really big teeth. And so you see it and this thing happens to make really quick nods like this like but except it has like a really really big grin really creepy grin okay he has suddenly scream and as you become frightened because he saw this little face evil face 
face. It looks creepy. Like a cookie with a really weird face. Okay. And you scream. And then you try to ask your parents in pure fright to sit in the front seat and make your parent, at least your other passengers, your other passengers sit at the back seat. But they said no. They said no because they want you to sit at the back seat at your age with a booster seat. And so they, they kind of comforted me and say not me, but you, because you are experiencing my dream. So they comfort you, and they give you advice to ignore that your mind is messing with you, and you are imagining things. So you try to take their advice, and you try to ignore that weird vision. So you go back, you... Now go back. You just remain in your back seat, and you just try to ignore it. So at one point, you happen to close your eyes and sleep. Good night, at least. But you happen to wake up. You happen to wake up, and surprisingly, you are still in the car. Your dream isn't over, and you're still at the back seat, and it's still nighttime. So you assume that not a lot of time has passed. You happen to be to wonder why, but it's wonder why, but you happen to glance to your shadow, to the, I mean, to the direction of where you saw the shadow. And that weird looking face you've seen earlier. I do not eat. It's not I, but you do not know why. You do not know why you look that way. It's not because of your curiosity. Maybe you're just trying to, to, to retrieve something behind you. But for some reason, you take a glance behind, behind you again. You see it again. You see it again. That alien-like head looks like an evil cookie with a weird cracked texture on its skin and with a really creepy grin with big teeth. And it's doing the nods. It's like nodding you, nodding like this, like shaking up and down. And you happen to cry and scream because you are like a four, four to six year old. Your four to six year old mind really triggers and you happen to react. And the parents, your parents would pull over and they ask if you are okay. And I said, if I, I, you said that I, scared and I saw it again so your mind was not playing tricks on you in your four to six year old mind in your dream okay shining my laser pointer again along with the green lights and so they comfort you and hug after that, you do not know what else happened, but in that time frame, let's say that after this experience, you happen to not sit at the back seat again, hopefully only in the dream world and not in reality. So your memories fade after this moment. And that is where, that is where, that is where your dream as a four to six year old inside a terrifying car ride ends.
So, I hope you have enjoyed this imagination experience where I wanted you to share this creepy car ride dream through my perspective with your ASMR triggers. And if you're new to this channel, if you're new to this channel, I make ASMR formatted videos like this one. I make videos from coding with typing noises as well as other ASMR formatted videos covering different topics like weird topics like the back rooms, random facts, and maybe even dream stories like this one. And this is the end of this video and I'll see you next time.